Hey everyone, this is Jasper Agler from vBulletin.com and for this video I wanted to quickly walk you through the easy process of setting up your vBulletin 3 API generator to produce an API key for the vBulletin mobile suite application. So go to your vBulletin.com members area and click on the download mobile API for vBulletin 3.x and once you've downloaded the file and extracted it Upload the files inside the upload folder to your root form directory via file transfer protocol client. And if it asks you to overwrite the files, just do so. And afterwards, go to the do not upload folder, API patch, and depending on the version of your VBulletin installation, choose the relevant folder. And so I'm currently running 3.8.7. So I'll just choose the 384PL1-387 folder and I'll upload all the files in the folder via FTP. And again, if it asks you to overwrite the files, just do it. And once you've finally uploaded all the files, we need to generate your API key. So first you'll need to upload a product by going to your admin control panel, plugins and products, manage products, then add and import product and here under the import the XML file from your server type in dash VB API after the product text as I did here and import afterwards go to your vBulletin options then vBulletin options again and scroll down until you see the vBulletin API and mobile application options and under the Enable vBulletin API, choose Yes and Save. Afterwards, scroll down in your admin control panel until you see the vBulletin API options, API key, and just click on Go to generate your API key. And that's it. You've successfully generated the API key for your vBulletin 3 form to use for the vBulletin mobile suite application.